start with a partridge, extra long nymph, H1A, size 10. Black tying thread that will attach just about there. And go a wee ways back to about there. And then we go back up about that far. And I've prepared two grizzle tips grizzle hackle tips for the first wings about the same length as the hook shank place these together like so and we'll just tack them in a couple of turns and then we can adjust them needs to be a bit shorter that one We can tighten in that's good I can remove these and position the wings these want to be out at to each side That's perfect. We can remove these. Don't want these here. Turn it that way, it's better. There we go. I'll just move this forward. Pull these back forward. I've done the same with two brown hackle tips. Tie these in in front of the grizzle wings. And these want to go more up and we can just place those with our nail that will do us there I'll just go back and secure them good and remove that pull everything back again just trim off these more water there. like so and then I can just go don't worry about this being too neat here because our hackle will go over that. Just tidy it up. Very good. And then we'll go back. To there. Then what we want is the tail. Now the best way to do this is to keep it on the stem just the amount that you need this makes it keeps all the points uh, together and makes it much easier to handle that they don't turn over when you tie them in so this wants to be about the same length as the hook shank again so we'll just tack these in to start with just to see that they're in the correct position looking good we just go back with this to there very nice then what I can do is I can come in with my scissors and I can tri trim these off 
the length of the body so I get a nice even body when I do the floss work so I'll just go over that now to clean it up. There we are. Now what we also want is if you can see that the wings are a little, the red wings are a little in front of the grizzle wings. So we just pull everything forward and we just go over these until they come into the brown wings. There we go. And we can go back to here. Just pull these out again. Position them. Very good. Just even out this body, spin our time for a thread uh, anti clockwise to give it a flat profile. And what we want is a little black butt at the end there and we just go in I've got some red floss this is a red Panama the original had a natural raffia uh, body so we just go up here we can pull that through Good, we'll just put that out of the way for the time being. We need our hackle which will go in here. I want this 90 degrees. We'll go up, flatten our time thread again. Now, just to get that stay in place, you can just wet your fingers and wet the floss just so it stays in position while we do a, a nice foundation for the underbody. Take our floss, if you pull your floss very gently between your finger and thumb, just to flatten it out, you get a much better result. So I'll just use the vise to take that first turn. Ooh. Shouldn't really do that. To keep out the way of that hook point. shank. A bit too long that floss. There we go. I want to do this all the way up. There we are. Then we can tie that off. thread that, get rid of that, and we can go up here. Okay. 
very good. Okay, now we need our hackle. We can move this tying thread first all the way forward. Good. And then we want to palmer our hackle. Over the body. And then when we get to that, I like to put a hackle plier on for this last bit. I'll put that on there. And we want to wrap the hackle more densely as we get to the wing like this then we can pull absolutely everything back and go in front I'll spin my, ted, uh, my thread uh, clockwise to give it a round profile and then I'll come up and tack that in first with one turn and then another and then I'll pull it back, everything back and we'll go back so we have room for the partridge hackle. Then we can remove that, turn it this way, the vise, so I don't mess up my tying thread. Straighten the hackle out. Position the wings. Now we need our partridge hackle. Now, some like to tie this in reverse, so the partridge sticks out, but I like to do it more the traditional way. We'll just put that there. And a couple of turns, and then I like to fold that back. Start at the hook eye. Go back over just to lock it off, then we can remove that. And then we take our hackle plier. Fold back the hackles. There we go. Tie that off. that. Take our wick finisher. I'll give it one more. Tie 
coming thread and we can position the hackle and the wings take some varnish and there's the finished red Panama if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching